What's up guys, it's Quizzle again. Uh, today, I'm going to be showing you um, some picks that I've been working on, or a pick that I've been working on so far. Um, this is uh, my half diamond because I snapped my other one in half. Uh, it's a little bit larger than the other one. I'll probably send it down just a little bit. But I don't know if you can see that pretty well. But um, I'm doing it out of uh, hacksaw blades. I uh, just put a little bit of uh, sanding on it, make it a little bit finer, a little bit smoother than it was. I've just been using like high carbon hacksaw blades I got from like Walmart or something. Uh, this is the other half. Uh, this one that I cut, I'm gonna make it a bit shorter. Uh, or yeah, well, a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to wrap wire around it and probably plasti dip it. Um, but I went with the bottom this time because uh, yeah, it seemed to be a little bit stronger than having the pick come out the, the center, like most of the other picks I see. But I've noticed that you don't get as much feel, um, but it is stronger. And uh, it does work. I pick locks with it, um, and I think that that is just, for being my first homemade pick, uh, I think it's it looks pretty good, um, but I'm going to show you, I just thought I'd show you this, and then show you uh, a little bit of each process, um, or what it looks like after each process. So the next thing that I'm going to do is cut it down. Uh, probably take a quarter of an inch, maybe eighth of an inch, something like that, off the top of it, and um, make it a little bit slimmer, and probably cut off the back a little bit, so make it just a little bit shorter. So I'll come back to that when uh, I get that done. Okay, so this is the, uh, I guess, second stage. Still got. I, I made the tip a little bit smaller because um, I found it worked better. It was actually the same size as the one that I broke. So, I'm not sure if you can see that. Uh, but they're pretty much exactly the same now. Um, and I made it shorter. I cut off uh, a little bit, cut off about an inch from the end, rounded it off, and uh, I cut down just a little bit. So comparing it to the um, uh, Sparrows lockpick, it's about the same same length. Um, it's a little bit fatter, but uh, I kind of I want to try to wrap this and uh, plasti dip it and see if it comes out uh, just a little bit thicker, so I have a little bit more grip. So that'll be the next part uh, that I'll show you guys. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's Squizzle again. Um, this is the last part of uh, my homemade pick video, and it's from above, so you guys can watch me pick a lock with it. Uh, this is what I got uh, so far. It's uh, pretty much finished. I think maybe just sand it down just a little bit more, and. Uh, polish it up. Should be good. The handle turned out really nice. Um, I'm not sure which way the camera's facing, but um, I got rid of I got rid of the um, the wire that I had. I was planning on uh, wrapping around it because I tried it out at first and it didn't really work very well. Uh, it was it was kind of too thick, so 
what I did was just plastic dipped it and then I took uh, a paper clip and put it in the plastic dip and just kind of drizzled uh, what I wanted on the edges and uh, or on top and uh, bottom right uh, towards the front and then uh, I let it dry for about four hours and it still was pretty wet from right there so I smushed it down and it kind of gave me this nice uh, shape um, in the front and that's actually uh, where I grip that's where my thumb would normally be so and my finger would be right there so I think it it turned out really well for my first pick uh, that I've made uh, by hand especially since it was just um, freehand and I didn't trace it um, but I'll give you one more look at that Um, if anybody out there is having or is uh, doing a half diamond uh, themselves, it's kind of hard to get right there, especially with a Dremel. Um, I think it might be a little bit easier with uh, one of the sanding wheels, like uh, like the bench top ones. Um, but right now, I'm going to uh, pick this uh, Pacific Lock for you. This is an older version. Um, but it's one of my favorite locks, so, all right, here we go. I love the fact that it has, um, that it has a dead core. Um, I think I, it find, I find it more challenging, especially... The, the most challenging part about it is the first pin. Uh, to try to get the first pin down is just ridiculous because you have no feel. And, uh... <laughs> Can't seem to find it. What I'm waiting for is, uh, just... Uh, first the first pin to go into a false set okay there it is so I got the false set I think on the third or fourth pin and uh, I think I got most of the rest of them down so I'll work my way front to back. Oh, there it is. So, uh, that's my homemade pick. Um, hope you guys like it. Thanks for watching. Uh, have fun. Be safe. Don't do anything illegal.